So I don't know really how to start this, honestly. I tried three different intros and they did not work in my opinion. So we're just going to go straight into it. Welcome to the Charming Analysis Podcast, guys. I'm Mari. I'm Jay. And today we're going to be talking about the newest Netflix movie that just came out, Nimona. Mm -hmm. So for those who didn't know, um, the Nimona movie finally came out after how long in development? I think it was like a long time. Uh. Well, just was a couple years off. Yeah. So, welcome to the podcast, guys. We're going to be talking about Nimona. So, Nimona just premiered today. So, me and Jay were both like, let's fucking watch this and give our thoughts about it. And honestly, I'm glad we watched this. This was really good. Don't play stuff yet. I don't play anything. But yeah, um, this is a, this is a, a, originally was a book series, I believe, right? Yeah. This was originally a book series, and then for the longest time they've been trying to make a movie for it, and... Did you read this? this? I never read the books. Me neither. But this definitely would make me want to read the books, because honestly, this was so fucking cool. So, I want to hear your thoughts first, because I'm going to gush about it. I'm already... It's a graphic novel. Yeah. So... Um, do you want me to start or do you want to start? Uh, you start. Okay. So I did not read the books for this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to flat out say this now. So I don't know how the books fare, but this movie I fucking loved. Like this was really good. Like the animation was beautiful. The story was really good. The ending I will get to later. Um, cause I have some words to say about the ending to this. But, oh my fucking gosh, I absolutely love this movie. Nimona was fucking awesome. She is such a cute, spunky character. She's like a, she's like a fiery, like, she's like a fiery, like, passionate character who's got a lot of spunk to her. And, oh my gosh, I fucking loved her. Mm -hmm. She legit carried this fucking movie. And, like... A lot of prote- uh, She's technically a protagonist, right? Yeah. She's technically a protagonist, or is she technically like a sidekick character, even though her name is literally in the movie. But like, legit, this movie was really good. I honestly enjoyed it. I'm also happy that there's some gay rep in this. Like, thank you. Fucking thank you. <laughs> like, yes. I'll, we'll get to that in a minute as well. But I'm getting all my gushing out of the way so we can actually talk about this. Because I'm sad that this took forever to come out, but it was so fucking worth it. <laughs> so worth it, in my opinion. So, now that I got all my gushing out of the way, mm -hmm. what did you think of the movie? Because I was more excited about this than you were. Yeah. Because legit, I saw the preview for it, and I was like... Fuck, this looks adorable. We should fucking watch this because I want to see what they do with it. And I'm glad we fucking did. Mm -hmm. So, lay it on me, honey. What are your thoughts? It's okay. Are you serious? That's it? It's okay? Yeah, it's okay. Um, Can you elaborate? Thing is, there was only... Um, there was only really, I guess, two things I find out adorable about this. One is the art direction. Art direction, very solid. And, uh, uh, the character moment, the character, uh, movements, the character acting on, uh, Nimona, really, really, uh, top notch. I think they expressed her, like, you know, wild character traits in, and like the best way possible and like you know um a shape-shifting character um I, I i liked that a lot um didn't really care for the rest of the movie <laughs> are you serious i don't know i wasn't really all that in really? like invested in this oh my goodness jay good lord i mean it was just like I'm not shaming you. I'm just more like, I thought you would have actually liked this a lot more than you are. No, not really. 
really because it seems like a movie that like seems to be right at home when you know you put the these things on like Netflix and everything um not the not the best Netflix direct to Netflix film I've ever seen like to see that there's been a lot more better ones um but, I get it I get it but like you know I guess in terms of Blue Sky's last movie um this was technically Blue Sky I thought Netflix made this well, it was 75% done and then they canceled it and then another studio picked it up really I don't know if they named Blue Sky in any of the credits um but it was originally in production over there, and then they moved to a different production. So this was potentially going to be Blue Sky's last movie, but they never got it. Really? I didn't know that, actually. Yeah, so, I mean, it's about the same level as I would put any mid-tier Blue Sky movie, I guess. Um, That's surprising. Can't really, but I've never really thought highly of the studio to begin with. And I really never really thought highly of um what what's 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 their name? N N D Stevenson's story I guess telling about I've like, never fantasy read the, or, have you read the books or no? No, but I don't really I don't know, like I don't really care for their writing. It's you know, I just she I mean Shira I never got into and wait. This is the same person that wrote Shira. Yes, really same creator. So never got into it. Uh, never got into the writing. Uh, so and I, I didn't think really so much that the, um, the setting, the clashing of like I guess you could say fantasy, realistic hyper fantasy. And this is the it's the thing right here. That's what it's doing. Um, oh, I was like, trying yeah, to know what the yeah, noise was. Yeah, I know. Um, the hyper, like, you know, the real, the futuristic fantasy didn't really all that, wasn't really all that impressive to me, I guess. I love you, honey, but there, are, there are times I, where I, I feel I like you... I didn't find it, like, I didn't find Look, it anything... Can I, finish? I didn't find it anything, like, all that, like, I was just watching that, sitting there watching it, and I was like, okay, going through the motions... Nothing's really standing out to me at this point besides some character animation. Like, that's pretty much it. I, I like, I don't know what else, like, I can say about it. Because I didn't really get into anything. And that's fine. Like, like we, oh. we, each, we each have our different interests. So sometimes we're both going to like something. Sometimes one of us is going to like something. Yeah. But this, but this is the thing with me, though. Hmm. I love you. But I feel like you judge some of these films a little bit too harsh. A little bit. I mean, to be honest, it's a film that I have to see and watch. And normally, I'm like, I'm just, normally when I don't like something, I just don't watch it. I understand that, but. It's not like I didn't you gotta... like it. It's just, it was not my thing. Which is fine. That's completely fine. I'm just, I personally thought you would have liked it a lot more. Like, I feel like it's a character that you would have liked, but maybe it's just me. But. That's fine. If uh, you... I just thought it like moved. It moved a little bit too quickly, like. And I can give you that one. It did move a little quickly in like the some editing areas. Was like, kind of like me choppy. Like it was a little bit. I can, I can say that. <laughs> to me, what stood out about this was the animation, like you said, and just the characters themselves. I feel like the plot could have been a little bit better. I will give you credit on that one. The plot could have been a little bit better. I, at first, I thought we weren't actually going to see Nimona's backstory until, like, later on or something. Because, like, legit, I, she kept, like, explaining it. It was but nice. It, it was a nice little backstory, but it was, like, you know, predictable. Like, Yeah, I'll give you that one. It was a little bit, but it's still, I still thought it was good. I thought for what it is and for what ended up happening with it. I thought it was really good. Please stop looking at Netflix, honey. I'm, not, I'm, just, I'm just doing my thing. You don't have to look at me. I know. I'm just like, like, I thought it was good. Mm-hmm. Like, it's probably not one of the best movies ever, but for what we got, I thought it was good. 
So here's a question. I got some questions for you then. Hmm. So wh- what did you actually think of Nimona? Like not the story, but actually her character. Because I thought she was great. <laughs> she... Again, outside of the character animation, I didn't really think much of it. I think it was sometimes too overanimated. A little bit. Yeah. In some in some areas. For the close good. Too much close ups. But you gotta be really careful with those close ups because they can get really fucking awkward sometimes. Yeah. Some of them were kinda awkward. You normally do close ups to be like you normally do close ups to uh, like Emphasize be, something. To, yeah, to emphasize something. When it's to emphasize, I guess, comedic, it gets so awkward so yeah. quickly. The comedy um, was kind of hit or miss. A little bit. It was a especially for, kids' comedy, I would say. Yeah, especially for, like, the background, mm-hmm. like, character. I forgot his name. The One of the rivals to Balthazar? Think that's just <laughs> Ballister? It's, I think it's Ballister. Ballister, Balthazar. No, not Balthazar. That. That sounds like a different character. <laughs> um, I feel like it's a little like I think his name was Ballister. Th- th- this is the only downside about like watching new movies. Sometimes, sometimes I don't remember the fucking characters' names, and I feel bad. Mm-hmm. So it's like I'm trying to like remember it, but it's kind of hard. But anyway, um, what did you think of the other characters? Bal- um, I keep saying Balthazar, Ballister, <laughs> and. We're going to just call the other guy Pretty Boy. Blonde Guy. Blonde Guy. Let's call him Pretty Boy Blonde Guy. Blonde Gay Guy. Blonde Gay Guy. But yes, there love is... Love Interest. Some... Love Interest. I will say this. There is some gay rep in this, which I was happy about. Yeah, but like, I thought it was going to be a lot more than what they were hyping up to be. It's just like, okay. Um, they two, like two... two ex-gay lovers. Not exes but, um, but like i thought two it was, past lovers like one like two like i love yous and a kiss i'm like damn after all this like movie has talked about like all the gay rep and stuff i'm just like you thought there would have been a little more to it yeah like which i also get i also get it but mm-hmm. then again can we just have like a couple or something be on screen for the entirety of the movie without any um like thing in the way <laughs> yeah i can also understand like, that okay some of the points you do have are, i i agree with though like i do agree with some of it and stuff like that. that's the thing it's like i'm sure someone could do this movie and make it better if i always have to if i do if i have to say that with a movie that i find okay then i don't feel like i need to see the movie again so or I, it's a mediocre experience at best. Okay, so we already know this for a fact that you wouldn't watch this again. Yeah. Um, it would kind of depend for me. I would probably watch it again, but I would probably watch it like just certain scenes. I think. Mm-hmm. But um. Okay, so what did you think of the way the movie ended? Because um. we we are going into spoiler territory. But it looks like Nimona dies, but yet she's still alive. Mm-hmm. So do you think this is kind of a way to either introduce a series, or do you think they're going to do, like, another movie? Or do you think they're just going to leave it Probably ambiguous? Probably not. I would be shocked if this got picked up. Maybe it would be on Netflix to pick up a cartoon on Netflix. but Which I wouldn't be surprised either, because... Yeah. I- because Netflix will pick up a bunch of stuff. But then again, they've picked up stuff and canceled it. So Yeah, so I'm not like... You think they're not going to do anything? I'm not in high them? hopes for a Nimona show. Good for the fans, I guess, who wanted to see the, these characters. Like, animated. Um, I'm not one of those people. <laughs> so I would def Like, personally for me, this uh-huh. does pique my interest a little bit enough to kind of see what the books are about. And if I'm not that big on the books, then I, I get it. Mm-hmm. But I it's one of this is one of those movies where I don't mind watching it again. But I feel like I would I feel like you would need to know what the fuck's going on because I feel like they just do the bare bones story. They I don't probably really would say that maybe the books are better. Which we maybe never read the books, books would be better. Probably, but then again, my theory is that they're probably setting it up. To be like 
an intro. And we also got to remember that these are kids' books. So. Yeah, and also, this took, like, five, let's say five years. Mm-hmm. This took at least, like, five years just because it was from another studio that it got picked up by Netflix because no one else would fucking take it. Which I'm genuinely surprised at, especially because how good the animation was. I'm surprised no one fucking picked it up. Because it was still in production. But still. Like, it was still in production when Netflix picked it up. Still. And they had to finish production, and now, like, two still. years later. Still. I'm just saying. That's what it I'm was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I was very loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Anyway. Okay. So... If you read the... Okay, so I feel like... No, I feel I feel like... Here's the thing. I've read a lot of books in my day. You probably wouldn't read this. No, probably would not. <laughs> not yeah. today. Well, I know not today. I mean, like... Um, do you think we, you would have liked this as a kid? I feel like I would have. I would have definitely loved this as a kid. I feel like... I, when, when it came, If it came out as a kid, sure. Like, but... I'm not a kid anymore. I know. <laughs> I know we're rambling a bit, but... Um, but, anyway... What... I guess let's go to the rating if there's Well, a- um another thing I do want to like ask about. What? what are some things that you think would make the movie better? Like what are some things personally Literally like any editing or writing like touch-ups in the room that you can think of that doesn't involve <laughs> what we got right now. <laughs> that doesn't involve like what I keep forgetting the, their name, Nimona? <laughs> no, and and D. Stevenson like waffling, like literally, it feels like waffling sometimes. Waffling, like with this guy's writing, it just feels like. Okay, I'm waiting for it to get interesting. I'm waiting, I'm waiting more, I'm waiting some more, which is why I didn't want to watch Sierra. Why would I watch Sierra if it's just five seasons of fucking nothing? <laughs> well, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, come well, on. Well, here's the thing. I never even watched Shira, but I know so many people liked it, so I was like... Mm. It did make me curious, though. Okay, well... But I don't see us watching it anytime soon. Yeah. So, anyway. I feel like we barely even talked about the movie. <laughs> what? We did. We did. You you liked it, and I was... Meh about it. You were just mad about it? Yeah. So... So I guess last. Rating? I guess last. Last question oh for you. Oh my god! What? Um. This is just a, a hypothetical. Okay, I just want to know your opinion. You're giving me hypotheticals, and I'm just gonna answer with the same. Do thing. you think that this could have been better as a? Do you think this could be better as like a movie series, or do you feel like this could be better as like a TV show? Because to me, this kind of screams more TV show. I think than it would have been better. I don't even know. I think any book would have been better as a TV, like a like a mini series. Yeah, I think I think any book would be better as a mini series than a movie. Yeah, because I could. This would probably be more mini series material or like maybe TV show hmm. kind of thing. But we're getting into the rating, okay? We're getting into the rating. I'm gonna do my rating first since I'm kind of like already getting into it. So. Do I like this movie? Yes. Do I do I think it would be good if this was a TV series or another movie or if they just continued this? Also, yes. Here's the thing that kind of bothered me about this a little bit. I feel like they don't tell you enough about the world and about why they're trying to like do the stuff they're doing. I feel like they beat around the bush or they start explaining it and then they stop. Start explaining it and then stop. I feel like if you had just told Balthasar from the get-go what your deal is, then it'd be fine. But she kind of just kept poking at it and poking at it and poking at it. Which, that does throw me off a bit. A little bit. Mm. I feel like this movie would have been a little bit better if they had just stuck more to the plot instead of just beating around the bush over and over and over again. But the animation is good. So that's one of the reasons I definitely kept watching it and just I wanted to see what they were going to do with it kind of thing. But 
Um, where am I going with this? Uh, would I like to actually see more from this? Possibly. I feel like if they should do an intro or like another like intro to this, like go in more in depth about the whole world because we barely like, here's the funny thing. This movie's almost two hours. Yes, I'm not joking. This movie is almost two fucking hours. It's literally an hour and 45 minutes. First off, that length surprised me. Because I was like, oh, this is going to be like 30, maybe like an hour movie. No, it's almost two hours. <laughs> and I was like, really? This is almost two hours? That's another thing I was surprised at. Do you feel like this movie is way too long for its, for its own good? Because I feel like it kind of was. Probably. I feel like this could have been like two movies. Or like they could have just paced. Okay. <sighs> Pacing definitely needs to be worked on for this movie. Okay, what's your rating? <laughs> okay, I'm getting to that. So, I would probably give this a 7 out of 10. It's good. It has potential. They really need to work on a lot of stuff with this if they're going to make another movie or a TV show. Mm. They need to work on the pacing, mainly, and they need to work on... A little bit more of the story itself. It has enough story to keep you slightly engaged, but not enough to where you get in depth with it. But yeah, that those three or two, three things kind of knock it down for me. Originally, before like we got to the ending, this was literally gonna be like an 8.5 for me. But now that the ending happened, and literally I had to actually look up the ending because I did not understand what happened. I was, like, very confused. So, for me, I know I rambled, but I'm trying to fill a good time thing with this. You rambled too much. I give it a 5 out of 10. You give it a 5? Yep. And there's only one or two things notable. Notable. Not even, like, something I consider great. Just notable. And it's a mediocre experience for me. All right. I'll give you that one. Okay. So, thank you guys for watching. Sorry if I rambled a bit. I'm just trying to... Pat it out a little bit. So we're not just like doing... Like a movie. Hey! Are you serious? You roasted me, man! Why did you roast me? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'm Mari. I'm Jay. And we're out. Bye!